Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get off the ground in After Effects. So yes, to some, this may look very intimidating and you might say 72 layers. Why so many layers? Now, watch a little bit of this. And you might see why. Now, also, I need to add in, you cannot have more than one thing on a layer. So if I was to, I don't know, if I was to uh, split that, it cannot go down on that same layer. It's either this is above or that it's below this. I don't want that split, so... All right, but now I'm going to new, uh, don't save. All right, so I apparently did not prepare for this video at all. Um, I'll, I'll just do a little bit of this song. So import that, and then I have, let's do that, and then, oh, I don't know what I want to choose from. Don't want to do that. No. I'll do that clip. <coughs> now I'm not putting the clips or anything in the description because these are not any of my clips. I am simply just using them for demonstration purposes. And yes, I have used them before, but that's uh, because they were in a frag pack. So first off, you need to create a composition to so drag your song down to that little thing. And, do, and it'll show up there. Now double press L and I'll open up the waveform for you to make it easier. Now coming from Sony Vegas, no you do not click anywhere down here. You actually click up here. And, yeah. So then it's the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out. Plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. So then, that's our first beat. So then it is the asterisk key, which is either uh, on top of the eight, which just in case you don't know what the asterisk key is, that is an asterisk. It is either the key right above the nine in the number pad, or if you hit shift and eight, that's what it is. And I think it, uh, or is it control? All right. Um, close. Okay. So on, or is it all? E? Nope. So on windows, you apparently cannot use that. So you have to use the one above the nine, I think. You could have been in the wrong panel. Okay. 
Okay, so that did not work. And shift E. Yeah, that just puts a... <clears throat> Doing shift 8 is not what you want. If it has an 8 next to it, that is not what you want. You want it where it's just that. And you also do not want anything selected because then if you get enough layers that you scroll down, that will no longer be visible. But doing it this way, these will always be visible. So for tutorial purposes, that's enough beat marking. So then what I do is I do that. So what you do there is you hit uh, one of the either Cine one or slums, hold shift and hit whatever's on the other side and just drag. And that blue marker is where they will all start. Then I like to deselect them and just kind of space them out. And you hear the song so slow and so deep because the frame rate is really, really low. No, actually thinking about it. Time. So let's cut that in half. So I made it double the speed, effectively. That's what I did. I didn't make it, you know, uh, well, half the length, double the speed, however you want to say it. At least to me, it's the same thing. Um. I'm sure technically it's not, because you can cut the length without cutting the speed, but for all intents and purposes in this use. You know what, these I can actually probably get away with like 15. Yeah. And I just do that as almost like a pre-render thing that's not necessarily um, uh, you know, what I want, but, um, so cut that using control, shift, and D on Windows. On Mac, it is Command, Shift, and D. Yeah, that happens really early. Um, And using Control Alt and T or Command Alt and T on Mac, you can enable the time remapping, which then you put uh, two keyframes in, hit F9, and you go here. Now this usually becomes a mess. Usually I just 
Like now you can see it better. So Oh wait, shoot. No, that's right. Don't want to go blow horizontal. Uh, this is like annoying. So, basically, the more horizontal the line is, the slower is going to play. The more vertical the line is, like all the way up here, the faster it is going to play. And now I will show you what like the average uh, kind of line looks like. And that would be, whoop, drag that up, drag that down. And that's the equivalent in Sony Vegas of having it start high and curve down and then stay horizontal and then come back up. I'm sure people that know Sony Vegas will know what I'm talking about. People that don't know Sony Vegas will not. But you can kind of see now some of that fast part is because of uh, the last part but all of a sudden it gets real slow and then you can kind of see it gets a little bit faster again so then now and I just zoom all the way out and back in just to kind of reposition myself so now you come and find your cinematic and you figure out exactly where you want it to start and end and then time remap again all right that's really weird that happens to me every once in a while. I don't quite know what that means, but yeah. Oh. That looks good. Sun. Now I would bring my clip back in and I would continue editing. Now because I don't want this to be super duper long for a tutorial, I am not going to continue because it is completely repetitive and this is not like it's going into a montage or anything. So yeah, this is what we've made. And that really did not take all that long, actually. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.